search for RC products on the web, check out rcdeal.com. This segment is sponsored by rcdeal.com. DJ here at Offna. Come to show you the new unboxing of a fresh new kit. Of course, you see it right here. Small little box. Of course, you probably haven't heard about it. It's just freshly getting out to the internet. And it's called the Hyper TT, the Transformer Truck. 10 scale four wheel drive Truggy. Um, it is new to our design, new to our lineup. Uh, something fresh and different for our kit kits. Of course, you've heard about the little Hyper ST, which was a Truggy, but now we made this thing a little bit more brutish by making the wheelbase a little bit longer and using 2.0 wheels and tires from the 10 scale trucks. But the best thing about it, it's four wheel drive. So we'll get into this box and break this down and show you what comes in this particular e-roller. Of course, an RTR will be out in the near future, and we'll talk a little bit about that a little bit later in the show. So as we unbo unbox this item, we're going to get in here and show you what's in the kit, of course. And the kit is going to come with some hardware, stickers, decals, antenna, and so on. Also the window masks and a clear Lexum, Lexum body for the RTR. Of course, it's a little bit blacked out from the design there. So we'll show you that. Of course, this body is a cab forward design, just like all the current truggies that are out there that are selling bodies from the uh, competitive body market uh, guys. And we've designed that to be a little bit more cab forward on the setup on there. So nice, long, sleek, low profile body. All right. We'll get to the car kit and pull out the hardware. Of course, the hardware itself is the nylon uh, impact wing. And of course, hardware to keep that mounted, some inserts, body clips, and uh, double-sided tape. And one more item, of course, to keep the box compact as possible for shipping. This is the pre-made wing mount for the back. All you have to do is just remove the existing screw off the bulkhead and then place it in with the new screw and uh, wing piece. So those are the two pieces that are in there for hardware. And as we pull the car kit out, we'll get a closer sample of the car kit. All right, Hyper TT, of course. It is a cousin of the Hyper ST and the Hyper SC, uh, 10SC I should say. Um, and if you're looking at it, a lot of parts are pretty much relative to it. Of course, there are just a couple different designs that are into it uh, that are different from one another. Of course, it uses the Mini ST shock towers. Um, of course, it is a new laid out chassis. It is a little bit longer than ST, but a little bit shorter than the 10SC. Um, uses the same servo block setup on there, same center diff. Of course, these uh, dog bones down the middle are going to be steel. And um, of course, the traditional radio tray that comes from the Hyper 10 SC and the ST. So if you're already familiar with the Hyper car and you already love that car, of course I do myself, um, you're also grabbing this bad boy with the same battery tray. So some of the part numbers are relative to one another. That makes it almost a no-brainer if you have the second car or the cousin of it. Um, drive frame and the suspension are the same, but of course we got new perks in the suspension. And if you're not aware of it now, the new car or this car right now and existing changing cars will have the new ribbed front suspension and also rear suspension setups on it. So if we show a close up of the front suspension, you're gonna notice that the new arms, they might look the same in the angle, but there is a new ribbing on here to prevent any kind of CVD bending or uh, kind of uh, overdrafting. So um, the suspension is a lot more beefed up. It's a lot more sturdier than it was from the predecessing arm. And on the rear suspension, we'll give that a turn around and we'll show you on that, there's some new geometry on the rear arm. The new rear arm, has a three position shock mount on the lower arm. That's going to give you a little bit more rear bite if the track continues to get uh, extremely loose. So if you move to the further position to the outside, you're going to get a little bit more grab as you go into the corner and come out of the corner. Of course, it comes with the fluorescent orange springs on there that came from the, the Hyper Mini ST. And the new version, and we'll get a good shot of this because I'll turn it for the angle, is going to be the new centered Delrin gear um, this is the first in the kits. All the other predecessor kits had steel uh, steel gears in them for spurs. Now we're going with the full-on Delrin gear in the TT. So now this right here is eliminating uh, a little bit of the sound and gaining a little bit more acceleration. Um, of course, a lot of people have been asking about the Delrin gear. We finally got it. Uh, we finally manufactured it and we just said, okay, it's good to go out there and, and put down. Um, had one myself and ran it for a very long time and was very satisfied with it. The other features of the car, of course, are something that also is already on the market and you don't have to worry about it because people ask, um, is tires. 
Um, tires are one thing that they really fix on it. And if you're looking at the wheels and tires here, they're dished wheels, but the thing is they're 2.0 from the 10 scale truck. But of course they would be rear tires instead of um, just fronts and, or fronts and rears. Um, you can use the rear tires all the way around for the four wheel drive version, or you can do it like 10 scale style where it had rib front tires and uh, pegged or uh, segmented ty type of tires in the back. But um, the, the major manufacturers like Proline and uh, J Concepts already have these wheels and tires out and these are 12 millimeter hex hubs on the wheels. So it makes it really easy to look for wheels and tires out there now because you can get a set of uh, subcultures or barcodes or whatever the case may be. Um, you won't have to run around for the last minute trying to find a good setup on tires. Um, the nylon wing of course is also on the back and with the body that's already set up for it of course you're looking at this with the body on. Um, you're seeing how low profile it is. Of course, I don't have the wing in the back of, because of the compact setup on it, but it is a very small, lightweight, and will be a very fast car. Front and rear sway bars on the unit. Um, I guess I'm getting a new. I guess I'm getting a fully assembled car. So we'll swap over to this car, and we'll show you the Wonder Woman car. All right. So wing assembled. Still the 2.0 wheels on there, low profile body on there, and you notice that the wing is basically your standard like A scale wing on there, high kick up wing, serious for serious racers. Um, you, you can always change the wing. Of course, we offer a couple different other wings, a high downforce wing in a 12 scale also. So if you want to change this wing setup, we have three different wings in different colors for you. Um, and like I said, I want to get into the car a little bit more, get down deep into it. Um, front and rear sway bars, uh, CVAs in the front, rear steel dog bones, adjustable turnbuckles, and it is a pivot ball front suspension. Um, a full aluminum tray from front to rear along with a center brace in aluminum, um, aluminum servo tray, and also servo saver that is spring loaded. So you can save your servo in a hard impact. All right. Um, that's what I got on here for the Hyper, Hyper TT 10 scale four wheel drive truck. Thanks for, for coming. This show has been sponsored by RCDeal.com. So remember, RCDeal.com for your RC auction and web store needs. It's RCDeal.com. When looking for RC...